This is a quick overview of the utility. You can find all your profiles here on the left. It's divided in digital profile and analog profile. You can see it back here on the top bar. The digital profile is your dedicated keyboard profile you can always fall back to, and the analog profile is your controller plus keyboard profiles, which you'll want to use for games. In every profile, you can change your color settings. You can simply right-click on a color, left-click to spread it around, or you can change it in the RGB slider and start clicking to change the colors on your keyboard. You can also change the effects by clicking on one of the icons and adjusting the settings on the right. In the digital settings, which you have in every profile, you can change global keyboard settings and turn on tachyon mode for the fastest input speed or change the activation point to anywhere you want. Now in the analog profiles, you have a lot more options. Now you can start binding analog keys, which are the X input keys, which is an Xbox controller, or direct input keys, which is like a generic joystick. For every action counts, you can click and then press a key to bind it, and you can right click to remove it. Then in the analog settings, you can change the analog curve to anything you want. This is an advanced feature, but you can also go for some quick profiles. And then we have the DKS settings. This is an advanced feature where you can bind multiple keys on a single keystroke. You can choose a key to bind, and then you can assign the different keys you want to use in that action and when these actions take place. I recommend seeing one of our advanced videos to learn more about DKS. After you've made all the changes in your profile, don't forget to save the keyboard. Last but not least, we have the settings. Here you can change some general settings in the utility, but most importantly, you can change to the dark theme. Be sure to use the troubleshoot if you have any problems or contact us if you have any questions.